I'm Chaplain Megan Rohr. I'm a pastor at Grace Lutheran in the Sunset, and I'm also a, the community chaplain coordinator for the San Francisco Police Department. So I'm a transgender pastor, and to be a faith leader who is able to be affirming kind of the fullness of, of God's creation, of the, the diversity of the city of San Francisco is really important to me. And to be able to provide a space where anyone can, can worship in our building and to really truly mean it is really important to me. I'm also the parent of two beautiful black children, one of whom is a black trans child. And I feel like being able to to care for them and to make San Francisco a better, safer place to live is a part of what helps me live out my faith in this world and helps my children to live in the world that, that they need in order to experience equality. Coronavirus has been a time of lots of adaption and change, so it's, it's meant no in-person worship, except for a few outdoor worship services and, and making a lot of things online. Trying to, to train people who maybe weren't as good at using technology to be able to use technology in a new way and to adapt. At the same time as being a teacher's aide for my children who are doing online school, it really changes the way you care for people in the midst of their tragedy when you are living in a pandemic because Normally, as a caregiver, I'm going to care for people who are experiencing their, their emergency. And in the midst of the coronavirus, we all have been a part of this emergency. And so there's been no way to really separate who are the people in need of care and who are the people who are safer. Um, because just, just being able to provide care for people at, at some points in this crisis was putting ourselves in danger. For me, what was really difficult during this pandemic initially was the ways that it reminded me of the AIDS crisis and the ways that our community, especially the LGBTQ community, hasn't fully been able to heal because that pandemic kind of still continues. And understanding that once again, there are some of us who feel guilty because we're surviving. And there are some of us who are aching to find ways to express the depth of grief that we have for how many we have lost. And that for me is so much bigger than, you know, like freedom I used to have to travel and, and other things like that is trying to figure out a good balance of caring for myself, caring for my kids, caring for, for those I care for at work and um, doing what's as safe as possible. Yesterday I got to visit the mass vaccination site at Moscone Center and I just, my eyes just lit up with tears because I felt like I finally got to be around large groups of human beings where nothing bad had happened and people were gathering for the sake of, of having life and having hope and this, this idea that we could go back outside for joyful reasons was just so life-giving for me. And I just, I can't, I can't even explain how important it was to see that, but I hope that people will show up when it's their turn and will get vaccinated when it's their turn. And I'm just so grateful that we're nearing the other side of this.